Hey, it's Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and it's Wednesday. It's January 25th. This will be our chart lesson for the day. And real quickly before we get going, um, I'm looking at uh, migrating our forum on the website to a new format. So um, I'm in the process of trying to migrate that over. Now we'll see before I'm before I turn the old form off and turn the new one on uh, I'll make sure I'll, I want to test it and just make sure it's working right and so forth but just in case you do log on and go to the forum and it looks different that's why I wasn't real happy with the current forum that we were using um, the programmers don't seem to be um, maintaining the, the form the way they should there's some updates that uh, that it needs and they haven't been doing it there's a security a security flaw in it and once we you know I already was thinking about changing now that there's a some type of security flaw in it I've decided that we'll just switch over so um, I'll save the old forum for a few days just in case um, we need to flip back and if, you, if the site seems slow or uh, a post or two disappears. It might be because it's in between. I'm not sure exactly how migrating it over. It's software that migrates it over, and I'm not sure exactly if we, you know, it's possible we might lose a post or two um, if something gets posted before I've actually uh, finished the migration. That happens during it. So hopefully we won't lose anything at all. But uh, and I'll save the old one. Um, and maybe I, if I have to, I can maybe manually switch those last couple over. But the main thing, I'm just giving you a heads up. So if you log in and you go, to, if you're a mem premium member and you go, or a forum member, you go to the forum and uh, something that suddenly looks different or something's not working right or any of the things that can go wrong or go right when you switch software like that. So just be aware of it. Um, uh, hopefully we'll... It'll be a seamless process, but we'll see. I'm a little nervous about it, but at the same time, I think it needed to be done. Um, the uh, other form, I just wasn't real pleased with the speed of it as well. Uh, it just didn't seem to uh, move fast enough, and it always seemed like it moved slow, especially when you post a reply to a. If you post a, if you post a reply to, or even a, uh, just post something to the form. It seems like it's even slower. Uh, it's not if you're just flipping through reading. It's not too bad, but if you try to post anything, it seems like it takes 30 seconds for the post to take and take you back, and then take you back to the main screen again. So, uh, just several things there that I'm not happy with it. And so I've did some research, found what seems to be a better uh, rated uh, forum, and the, the basically all we're doing is changing the software, the forum. The information in there won't change. We'll just be using different. Uh, uh, we'll be using different software, different application, and uh, it may look slightly different. But anyway, that's enough about that. I just wanted to give everybody a heads up in case. Who, who knows? In case something crazy happens. In case you just want to know what happened if you log in, it looks different or something's missing or whatever. But let's go to the chart here. This we're looking at the daily chart. And man, what a crazy day. We opened way up here, sold off very strongly, and look where we bounced. Right off the, that that's the EMA right there, the 21 EMA, and the previous support resistance line acted as support, and we took it all back almost. So we're still just going sideways here. Um, we're not really make, making any progress, and, and I will say that this market's tried to sell off two days in a row uh, one of them very strongly, and it recovers every time. So this right now, this, this market just doesn't want to go lower. And so it's a possibility we're headed much higher here. Uh, we are getting back to being in over overbought territory. We're not quite there yet. But if we have another up day like we did today, it won't be long. We'll be well into the overbought territory. It doesn't mean we're going to turn down from there. I mean, you can be overbought for quite a while. Uh, but it's just something to think about. You can see, you know, I talked about being oversold down here and one long before we were rallying. 
uh, was talking about being overbought up here. It wasn't long before we were selling off. So uh, it'll you don't know exactly when, but usually the chart will give us some kind of pattern. It'll say, okay, it looks like it's turning, and, and we'll kind of go from there. But there's a look at the daily chart. Let's flip over to the intraday, and really what we have is a, a strong trend down that played out reversed and then a super strong trend right back up again so basically n hardly any change for the day i think we might have changed closed slightly down from yesterday but i mean we could have closed way down from yesterday so um, it was quite a remarkable comeback there but let's flip over to the 2000 tick chart and we'll go through those trades to take a look at that chart okay here it is very very strong sell-off we had a break a new low and then we went into a little a more healthy 45 degree flatter channel and then it had a break and a new low and so both of those channels played out and then suddenly we reversed and really strong channel straight back up again and um, you can see we closed down slightly from yesterday here's the closing line from yesterday and we closed down here somewhere today so slightly close slightly lower not enough to really make much of a difference i mean that's a heck of a comeback right there so uh, again this market just doesn't want to sell off uh, obviously someone perceives it as a good buy down you know when it gets down to these levels and the buying comes in and next thing you know it's rallying up again and all the sellers get spooked and run for the door and the new buyers, uh, new buyers come in seeing that the market's looking healthy and they come in and it just, that's what happens. And it, and it suddenly you're rallying strongly in the other direction. So anyway, let's uh, zoom in here. We'll go through the trades. It was kind of, yeah, it was a little slim this morning early. Uh, there's some mid morning trades, uh, you know, just kind of spread out through there. And then suddenly it was obvious we were in this strong trend and there was quite a few uh, trades up here in the afternoon. I've got several green ones in here too. Not a lot of them, but there's a few. But uh, plenty of good trades today, depending on how you were looking at this. But 7 o'clock came right in here, but you just can't trade into that support right there. And so I don't see anything I like there. Uh, prices do drop on down and then suddenly you get a second entry short right off the key entry point again i like going short there and then we actually have a reversal a failed second entry this is not a reversal this is just a failure failed second entry that's a continuation pattern it doesn't go much further but uh you can clearly see new low first entry second entry and you can see a new swing high. It's higher than that one. First entry, second entry. And so there's that's a failure right there, right off the key entry point. So I like it too. Both of them nice, quick scalps. Um, probably didn't get a, you might have got a runner off, uh, off one or both of those, but probably wouldn't have been a very big runner. And then, of course, we get the close outside. We actually start trending up here. It looks like we get an overshoot, and then it reverses, and we make the new low. And so at that point, it could be over, but you want to know that first. And uh, we actually went into this flatter channel. Um, I just don't see anything. There's no way to get in that. You don't want to trade this sideways stuff. It's tempting to go short there, but we've already had the break and a really strong new low here. Yeah, we could make another swing down, but I wouldn't want to do it on a failed breakout on with that new high right there. Uh, I'd want a lower high or something different. Uh, anyway, then we fell out the low side in reverse. I don't see any longs there. There is a high or low right here, but it's right back into these highs. And so I don't really recommend going long there either. I'd want to see a reversal pattern and we don't get it. And then we're just chopping sideways. And I, I want to talk about this. This is congestion. And anytime you see three or more bars stacked side by side like these are, and at least one of them has no body or a very tiny body, that's congestion. And most new traders should just skip congestion. If you understand, there's no rule that says you can't trade congestion, but I always recommend a new trader just skip it because most of the time you're going to you're going to get chopped up. It acts like a range, and you'll get failures out one side or the other and so you need to know what you're doing to trade these 
So people will ask me, you know, they'll ask me, why did this trade fail? And I said, well, you traded in congestion. And then they'll send me another trade like this one that's obviously congestion, but I marked a trade. But the context will be totally different. We're not, make sure you understand we're not pattern traders. We are chart traders. And we simply use the patterns to time and set up our trades. So if you see congestion and you don't understand why it's forming or what's going on, then just stay out of it because you will save yourself a lot of heartache and headache. And the reason this congestion formed here is because we'd made a very strong move up and there's a trend line coming down through there. We touched it there, uh, confirmed it here, or at the very least we cut, touched it here and then confirmed it here. And either way, look how far away we are from the EMA and prices are trying to go higher. You, maybe, it, maybe it's not a trend line, but maybe it's just strong resistance across there. And prices can't go higher, so they're going to at least come back to this EMA. So I like that trade. Uh, it's a lower high. It breaks higher. It turns down. Uh, I probably wouldn't trade that on the engulfing bar because it might close back up inside and, and keep going sideways. But when it closes way down here, if it breaks lower, we're probably headed at least to the EMA and maybe all the way back down to the low side of a possible channel. And you can see here, it tried to bounce. It, it, it actually broke higher a couple of times. Couldn't do anything and then turned on lower again. And this is almost a repeat pattern of this. You're going sideways and you get the little breakout pull back short again. And um, this is actually folded over some. It should be more like this. Um, and that's just a lower high right there. Uh, and this is really a, a, like a new high. And so you get a first entry and a second entry. Uh, so it, it actually looks like a failure. And, and that's a... Definitely, you know, if people count that as a second entry, it's probably going to trap people and that are unsuspecting and think it's time to go higher again. And next thing you know, it's you've got them trapped in this rocketing lower. I mean, we're still in a downtrend here. I mean, at the very least, you may get two measured legs like this, and there might be another channel here. And we might just keep on. Sometimes days like these never reverse, and they just keep going lower and lower and lower and lower. And that would have been a possible measured move. And you see, we didn't quite make that. Uh, we're close, but we didn't quite make that. Usually if you come up short, the rally in the other direction or the move in the other direction will be much stronger. And you can see that was the case today. But uh, I like that as a failure. Technically, it's really not if you go by the counts. But just looking at it, it looks like clearly you got a leg down a little, and then there's a two-legged correction in the middle, then another leg. And a second entry long, and boom, it fails. So, but notice we broke higher here and then turned back down, and then we turned up again. So, technically, if you are really good at reading the chart, there's a second entry. That's the second time to go higher right there, but it doesn't matter what the count is there. I'm look, I'm trading it based on what it looks like and knowing that we're in a strong downtrend. And we run down to the midline, bounce, come back to the trend line. Unfortunately, no setup this time. There is a second entry short right there, but I don't like that inside bar. If it would have broke higher, maybe you go short on a second entry. But notice the new low, and you get a first entry. We're moving down. And even though it didn't break higher, it still corrects right there because it makes a higher low. So that when it breaks lower, that's a second entry. And then it bounces. Then it looks like we're just in a range here before it breaks higher. Back to the trend line. We do get a close outside, and then it turns down. Uh, there's really a triple test cost there. Uh, it's a failed break out of this little range here. I didn't make this one pink, but that's a range. And it's a really nice signal bar and a very strong downtrend. So I like going short there. And you probably get a runner here, and you might be able to ride this all the way to the bottom. And this is a slightly lower high than, than this one, too, because notice where we close much lower than we did up here, even though it's really, you could call that a double top. And it bounces, but don't try picking bottoms. You need a reversal pattern. And notice we do get a reversal pattern here. We make that new low. We run up. We pull back first entry. We push through the EMA, pull back second entry, and it bounces. I like going long there, and if you might catch a low. Uh, it does turn out to be the bottom, but uh, prices do come make another lower low than that. 
and so you don't get any big time runner and you don't really catch the bottom with a runner or anything like that but another easy scout and we're coming lower and there's actually a, a lower high here but that's really congested and we just had this reversal pattern so it could turn up any minute so i'd be careful getting long or getting short in here and then guess what it does it bounces just draw your trend line right there and that turns out to be the trend line all the way up pretty simple just off the first two swings like we teach you to do it and notice we're running up here and then we're just working sideways and you get a easy triple test here nice signal bar right off the midline oh, i'm sorry right off the ema i like going along there it takes it a second but it takes off and you're working sideways again i marked this one if it, if it would have closed inside here into this resistance i'd probably say you can't go long yet but with the uh triple test across there and such a bullish bar if it breaks above that we're probably going higher and we do and then it and then it, you shoot through the at one time i thought that was the range right there but this turns out to be a midline it shoots through pulls back first entry pulls back second entry and it's right off that midline normally i'd tell you at least wait to the ema but with it bouncing where the previous uh trend channel line was which was this line and i just moved it up an equal distance once uh, once it looked like this was a midline and that's a second entry long nice signal bar plenty of room to get out for that high i like going long there doesn't go very far and then we're kind of just we're still moving up here but there's clearly a sideways right there too and we do break out it comes back and you get a first entry and then it turns down again and when it breaks above there that's a second entry long and notice we tested this upper side once twice three times and we actually tested it one two three four five six seven eight on eight different bars and it couldn't get back through there before it went higher and that's a good sign that we're probably going higher and look at it take off and again that is a second entry long it's a it's congested so if you don't understand what's going on there don't take that trade but you have to understand that we're looking at the context here not the congestion but if you don't understand the congestion and why what it's doing there uh, then don't take the trade because next time you'll take it and then you'll be wrong and uh, the whole idea is not to take trades the idea is to make money so whenever you see a trade if you're not 100 percent sure that your read is right then don't take it because otherwise you're gambling and if you gamble in this business you won't last you'll 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 go broke and you'll be out of it pretty quickly because gamblers don't make it we only take high probability chart reading trades by reading the chart understanding what the prices are doing we understand the context prices are clearly in an uptrend here and it's pretty strong because the Look how small the corrections are getting now. They're, they're not even turning down. They're going sideways. When they do turn down, they're real mild. It's mostly just sideways. Until you get to the other side of the channel, then you get a pretty good trend down. But then it bounces right at the... And then off you go again. And look how shallow the corrections are again. This is a strong trend. We went from a strong downtrend right into a strong uptrend. And you have to be able to recognize that. Clues are all here, but you have to understand what they are and how to see them, and you need the experience. And if you're just looking for patterns, you know, somebody will ask me, well, that's a, you, that, that's a second entry, but, why, you know, it's it's congestion. You told me not to trade congestion in, on this other trade over here, and to show you the other trade, it doesn't look anything like that. It's a totally different context, but it's still congestion. And they don't, and if you, so if you don't understand congestion, if you don't understand what prices are doing, really, it's not that you understand congestion, uh, but there's a reason there's congestion here. Prices are trying to go lower, and they can't, so eventually they go higher. The smart traders are waiting because we've been going sideways, and once they finally see it tested a few times and know that it can't get through there, it's got, hey, it's going to go higher. And it's going to test the resistance. And it, see, it finds a little bit of resistance there. Let me zoom in here a little more so we can see this. You can see it does find a little resistance there, but once it breaks higher, it's gone again. And then we, we got a channel working up here. We get a break, two swings to a new eye, and then we're headed lower. There is a failure right there. Failed second entry long. 
Uh, I wouldn't trade that. We're in a very strong downtrend. It's right at the midline. It could fail and go higher there, just like it did right here. Uh, we did get through the EMA to the lower side this time, but you'll see it push through a few times, a lot of times before it actually reverses. Uh, so I'd be wary of that one. Uh, there's also a second entry short right here, but the signal bar is too neutral. And what do we do? We come down and we bounce right off that trend line. That's a main key entry point. That's a fairly nice signal bar, a little ways away from the EMA. Uh, it's just a first entry. It, there's still two legs down, and I don't know. It, the average person probably can't see it, but you move down, and then you try to go higher, and then you move down again. And so the, there's two legs down there. It's just a first entry by the count, but there's there's a hidden second entry there. I like going long there. Smarter trader will wait on a higher low. It breaks lower, fails, turns up. I wouldn't trade that on the engulfing bar because it's too big a chance we're going sideways again. But if it breaks above this bar, go with it. And there it goes. And then suddenly it pulls back again. That's what a that's a failed second entry long. Here it's not a reversal, it's just a continuation pattern. So the trend will continue again from there. That's what you hope will happen. Um it's not a perfect one because of where it sets up, um, but it's still a failed second entry off the EMA, and so I like going long there. It's it, I marked it green. It's a little aggressive. We do come back here and back to the trend line again and then break higher, but I, I wouldn't take that trade. It looks like we're in a range now. I don't think there's, there's not much room between. You see there, it would have failed if it turns down there again. If you have, if you'd have really shot up here and had plenty of room, maybe you take that trade. But it's just a first entry, and um, you don't really have this trend. This trend line's not proven yet. The EMA is obviously holding, but this trend line's not. But when it comes back again here, right here, um, now you got a higher or low and you did bounce off the trend line. So maybe again, maybe you go along there. If you recognize this is a strong trend and you see it every time we come back to that trend line, take it. If you get a signal bar like that, every time you come back to that trend line, take it. It needs to be a good signal bar though. And then we just kind of, we're, we're moving on higher here. And then again, we get a correction. Um, there's a first entry here and then it turns down and fails and goes back up. So when it comes back out of there, it's a second entry. I'd probably wait on this to close and if it breaks above that. I'd go with it. And then you get a failed second entry short here. And notice again, this is right off the bid line coming up through there. It's maybe hard to see underneath the green there. Um, and we've tested that tr three times there. So this is just a higher or low, a failed second entry short. Uh, so it's a continuation pattern of the trend. Go with it. Nice trade. Turns down, comes back here. Notice how we didn't quite get up there. So be careful here. This is not a perfect signal bar. Definitely don't go long above that. You get a break, a new low. And then by that time, you've got a triple test here uh, with a fairly decent signal bar. So I like going long again. And it's also a second entry. Uh, this is basically a double top. So first entry, pull back when it breaks above the second entry. Just take it. If you recognize this is a strong trend, you know what's going on, take it. Here we come back. This is another one to consider. You got your first close outside though, and now you got a new high in place. So it could just turn back down. Uh, but it does push higher. If you had a really strong signal bar here, maybe you go along there. But it's it, you got two bars in a row, and they both have a lot of stem. It could end up being congestion, and that's an area where congestion would not necessarily be a good thing because we've already had a break in a new high. So you wouldn't know if they were fighting it out to go high, or if they were fighting it out to go lower. So that's an area where congestion you want to be careful. It does run on up, tries to go higher three times. Uh, if you had a good short signal bar here, maybe you could try to go short. Notice it comes down, you get a first entry, and then when it breaks higher there, you get a second entry, but it quickly fails and turns down. That's a second entry short and a failed second entry long, 
and you would expect prices to at least come back to the trend line. Uh, normally I'd mark that red, but this is a strong uptrend. So you got to be careful going short. So I'm a little wary going short because I'm counter trend trading. Uh, but we did just come off the highs here. We've had a break and a new high for this dark green. And there's still a long, I wouldn't say a long way. There's still plenty of room back down to this other trend line on the lighter green. And guess what? It bounces right off of that lighter green and confirms that trend. But not a great signal bar. It's just an inside bar. Uh, it's got a lot of stem on it. So just kind of wait. And then, it, and then it makes a lower high right here. So even though it doesn't break lower, when it breaks higher above that, again, it's the second entry. Notice the new high. It's higher than that swing. First entry. And then second entry. It is an inside bar, but because it's a second entry off a key entry point and another good signal bar away from the EMA, I like it, especially in a strong uptrend. Um, we run up, you get a first entry, tries to go higher again, pulls back, and you get a second entry. So if it breaks above that, that's a failure. So again, it's a continuation pattern with the trends. Right off the key entry point, it confirms it. I mark this one green because that's a very neutral bar. I'd rather this be bearish or bullish than neutral because we already were kind of going sideways. So it's like a breakout pullback, but we could get another sideways bar and this could be a, a, a range here kind of in the middle of an odd place. And so uh, I still like this trade. It's probably going to trap people and go higher, but uh, you know, I think it's green. I don't want to think you want to make that one blue. And of course, we continue on up. I don't. We don't really get any. Not a good signal bar off the trend line. Not a good signal. Of course, this is off the the uh, trend line too. But it's inside, and you've got one, two, three, four bars stacked side by side. So again, congestion. Uh, and we're close to the high, and we're off the low. So you don't know what it's going to do there. I mean, prices could could. Uh, push on up here and turn back down or they could break lower so just sit tight and wait and we really don't see anything else and the next thing you know we're trying to we're, we're not trying to we're zooming lower here and we don't get much bounce off the EMA then we push up one more time and turn down so you got a first entry then you get a nice signal bar on a second entry long there and it instantly fails so if it breaks lower there that's a failure and you got again you got a little bit of room back to the trend line so maybe you take that trade. Again, we're in a strong uptrend, so be real careful. But uh, there's a good chance you'd probably get a scalp out of that. We're probably coming back to this trend line. So, and again, we bounce here. Um, I don't think you want to go long here yet. Uh, I'd wait on a high or a low, and, and by that time you're in, you're off into well after 2:30 before you get uh, a double bottom here, really, and a decent signal bar. And we still continued to trend lower there for a little bit as well. So anyway, that's kind of that's the way I saw it today. A pretty good trading day. A uh, little slow this morning, but really after about 10 o'clock, this this was a very nice uptrend. Some fairly decent second entries and so forth, and some triple tests and failures and things. So it was a good trading day. You should have been able to find two trades today. Uh, pretty quickly and if you found the right ones you might only have to take a trade today so there's a couple there's a few of them with runners here so yeah I mean we're almost 30 minutes here so I'm not gonna beat around the bush today hope you had a good trading day uh, we'll be back again to do it tomorrow believe it or not tomorrow's Thursday that'll wrap up our week no chart lessons on Friday so um, I guess I'm done till tomorrow this is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and we'll see you next time.